Hi everyone, this is Neil Writer here, consultant, audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the Waxscape. And we have a really interesting case here. This patient attended alongside their father and they've been reporting severe otalgia, so ear pain in this, their right ear. They do have a history of otitis media, which is an infection of the middle ear. So the middle ear is the cavity behind the eardrum. And um, they visited their GP, and of course, all the GP could see was this wax. Um, now, the patient attended, and they advised that they had been using some olive oil. And the reason why I asked them was because it was quite wet in there. Um, so at this stage, I wasn't uh, suspecting anything else other than earwax. Now, I've removed the majority of the wax. I'm just going to take this bit of crusted skin from the anterior canal wall. But this patient's got a ruptured eardrum, um, and it's due to a condition called acute suppurative otitis media. They've got an infection of the middle ear, and they have, therefore, a collection of pus accumulating behind the eardrum. And there's been so much pus um, formed that it's caused the eardrum to bulge outwards, and then eventually rupture it so all this pus is then leaking out from their middle ear into their ear canal and just have you you'll see it in a moment i'm just clearing up the back part of the ear canal first again there's a bit of crusted um, skin here i'm just suctioning that away so this patient um there was uh, i managed to remove some of the pus originating from the eardrum. You can see some um, pus already. I don't know if you saw that where that skin is at the bottom, but there was some liquid accumulating just behind that. So I'm going to take away the skin. This skin's probably uh, about two thirds of the way into the ear canal, and some of the skin is also attached to the eardrum itself. So I'm just using the fine end suction probe. But at this stage, I know something's not right. It doesn't look like a normal, healthy eardrum. And um, when suctioning the pus, it was quite noisy for the patient because it's liquid. So you can see that pus just leaking out. And there's, where the pus, pus is coming out, there's a tear in the eardrum. There's a rupturing there. So again, I'm just going to stretch open the ear. And this is just a bit of skin to the left. I'm just going to clear that out of the way. You can see just how damp and wet it is. So we referred the patient back to their GP, but um, they have seen ENT previously. So um, we've also provided some details of an ENT colleague that's local uh, to myself. So you can see all that liquid there. And this is that pus. And I've just slowed that bit down. And surrounding that pus, you can see that tear of the eardrum. At this stage, I invited the patient's father to examine um, what I was seeing on the screen, because you can see this eardrum pulsing because of all the pus. And you'll see it yourself in a moment. I'm just getting it in focus. And it's just pulsating. So there's still a bit of liquid, uh, pus there. I think I'm going to go back in and get a little bit more out of memory serves me correct, or we shall see. Now, because we did remove some of the, um, the pus, the arteria, it did alleviate the patient's symptoms somewhat. So again, just going back in, but I had to come straight back out because um, it's just extremely noisy. When you suction liquid and fluid, it can be noisy. And now you can really see the eardrum pulsing. So we, they have got some relief. And so I just advise the patient to keep their ears completely clear of water. We just don't want any water to enter that perforation. Um, and make it more difficult for this infection to clear. And in the latter part of that video, I used the zoom function with the wax scope so you can really see what we were doing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care, keep well, and speak soon. Bye.